Hello guys, today I will show you how to do this poster on Photoshop. We will break it down step by step. To do this, we have this original scene right here. We're going to drag it to Photoshop. This is number one. Now to create the sketch effect, you have to do the following steps carefully. So please follow the steps for the best results. First, we're going to add the action. Go to window and hit action from here actions you'll notice this will pop up here now go to these lines on the top right and go to load actions and I will leave this file in the description you can download it and follow my steps select the file and load the action now the second thing you have to do is to go and pick the brush right click in the middle go to the top icon and import to brushes also import the brush in the file the third thing you have to do is to go to edit fill and choose from here pattern open this here go to the icon and import patterns also import the pattern right here once you are set and done with those steps, go and create a new layer and name it brush. One thing to keep in mind is you have to make sure that your scene is set as a background. If not, like for example if it appears like this, just go to layer, new and background from there. Now all you have to do is to go to the brush choose the general one choose another color now simply set the hardness to zero as you can see it's zero now paint the areas that you want to convert into a sketch like for example I want these areas right here and a little bit here just like so now all you have to do is to go, to go to the action icon right here, select the action and the play. Now you have to wait until this done. okay we're great now after the action is finished select the first layer right here the first folder go to the bottom hit hold the shift and the press on the last one now make them all as one group from here and name it sketch now what we're going to do is to create a new hue saturation layer and attach it to the file hold the alt key and the press between these two layers right here now we're going to decrease the saturation to minus 100 okay this is number one number two you're going to increase the lightness by 8 for example or 10 yeah I guess this is enough this is number one now you have to do something first which is create a new layer right here now select those all and merge ctrl e to merge all into one layer only now go to filter and choose camera row filter what we're going to do is to add some effects to it in order to make it lighter like for example we're going to increase the exposure a little bit decrease the shadows increase the whites now we're going to increase the texture and the clarity in order to make the sketch lines bolder now you're done okay all you have to do is 
to make it more lighter I guess let's add another hue saturation attach to it and increase I guess yeah this is better now merge these together and create a mask okay now we have the mask pick the marquee tool and select a vertical area right here for example now all you have to do is to select the mask and control backspace if it does not work alt backspace and it will surely work control D let's deselect this right here now what we're going to do is to add the other effects the first one we're going to add a moon right here so we're going to create a new layer and we call it moon as you can see pick the brush and choose a general brush with the hardness 100 you can choose the size of this moon right here for example hit the caps lock in order to see this cursor in order to be in the middle just between the two lines and make sure that the moon in white and that's it let's decrease the opacity just like that now we're going to draw a, a pointed line around it from here see this tool right here just choose the ellipse tool hold the shift and drag and you notice that it's not an elliptical shape it's a circle now all you have to do is to go to the settings of this from the top like for example let's make them two pixels and we will change the line type into pointed or dashed and we'll change the color into black okay that's great now i'm going to rasterize this layer right here in order to be able to modify it let me select this area and invert the color of it just like that ctrl i ctrl d to deselect and that's it this will make it look like uh, more analytical okay now let's add some other elements let me add some vertical lines for example I'm going to use the same tool but the line one I'm going to add a line all over this area also dashed also two pixels for example and black as you can see it's not correct to keep it this way so we're going to modify it keep selecting this tool and go to here to the options and more options you can decrease the gaps for example in order to make it equal as you can see okay now we're going to rasterize it rasterize layer ctrl t you're going to make it thinner now let's move it right here sorry let's move it just right there ctrl t and to make it thinner a little bit just like that now let's create another one ctrl t let's rotate it and make it a little bit longer just like that let's move it to the middle now as we did with this circle we're going to do the same thing for those two lines we're going to merge them first then we're going to select this part right here and ctrl i in order to invert the colors all you have to do is to move this one to the middle right here and there you go here is our moon or sun or you can assume it the thing that you want to okay the, th the second thing we're going to do is to draw some sketchy lines just on the top of this colored right here we're going to create another one we're going to call it white brush we'll pick the brush obviously set the hardness to zero and let's pick a small one okay that's great now we're going to draw lines all over 
this right here here for example also here another one another one here and let's make some random blocks over, over there this is great we can also decrease the opacity just a little bit okay this as well decrease the opacity that looks awesome now i will be adding some other elements like the name of these materials right here let's create another layer and call it materials okay i'll pick the brush a normal one with hardness 100 as you can see and we'll add one right here and i'm going to make it smaller a little bit smaller just to create the middle line over there okay this is great now what i'm going to do is also to select this area inside the sketch and invert the color Ctrl R Ctrl D this is great let's decrease the opacity and yes it looks awesome now we're going to add another one for the concrete let's copy it to the glass copy it to the rocks and also another copy for the water and this is great now we're going to merge them all okay that's awesome let's just rename it and keep our file organized let's add some text using the t shortcut let's hit right in the middle um, for this one we're going to pick another line type bank gothic for example let's decrease the space between the letters and we'll choose another color for this text okay let's go for sky background let's make it smaller okay this is good let's also decrease the opacity as you can see it looks great now let me copy it to create the other one which is the concrete material just like that another copy for the glass and as you can see that we need other two copies one for the rocks and another one for the water okay look it might not be like that obvious but it looks sketchy and kind of analytic thing you may also make this white fill it with white then go to the layer style double click on this empty area and struck the black one you can choose like for example one pixel i guess that would be good as well as you can see it also works let me use it for the concrete as well and i'll keep the glass water and rock just like they are just to make some variations okay that looks great now let me add some effects to the background of this colored picture right here I'm going to hold the control key and hit the mask click on the mask and it will be selecting the other areas so I'm going to invert the selection control shift I and I will create a new layer just above it right there I'm going to name it effect just like that now I'm going to pick with a brush I have some brushes right here like uh, scratches or I guess this one yeah this one is good or let me pick another one actually 
I guess this one is better. Yeah, that's great. I'm going to add some scratches right here and some of them right there. That's it. We're going to decrease the opacity. All looks good. Control D. That's great. Now I will add another layer and I will call it a rose. Just like that. I'll go to brush. I also have an arrow brush. You can go ahead and download those brushes I have from the previous Photoshop tutorial. I will leave the link in the description. I will use this right here. For example, I will add another one right here. Let me add some text, for example, the rooftop, and I will change the line into a sexual. Okay, this looks great. It's just like uh, hand typing. Awesome. Another one right here. So everything we're working on is just to make it look as sketchy as possible. And let's say island. Okay, this is great. Now the last thing I'm going to do is to merge them all into a new layer. Control Shift Alt E. Control Shift Alt E and Control Shift A in order to go directly to Camera Raw Filter, as you can see right here. Camera Raw Filter. Now I will go to Previous Presets. I will go to modern and choose this one right here as you can see it gives like uh, a really cool tone to the picture I'm going to hit ok now I want this effect to be only on this area so I will go again to the mask hold the control key and the press on the mask or click on it now go to this layer and hit delete that's it ctrl d and you have everything just like you want hope you guys enjoyed it and i also hope you find it useful please don't forget to like my video subscribe to my channel and comment your feedback